What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be installing a mod that should have been done, I mean, honestly, 50,000 miles ago since the truck has over 50,000 miles on it. Uh, in this box, I'll show you guys once I actually get them out. In this box are uh, the rear shocks, as you can see from the title of this video. They're gonna be installed on this truck uh, any minute now, so let's get right into it. Alrighty boys, after a Lowe's uh, trip to Lowe's, uh, we finally know how to do this now. So this, uh, once you obviously have your wheels off, um, and it's in the air of course, uh, this is a 15 millimeter bolt, and that behind there, the, the nut on there, oh, like the nut on there is an 18, um, and so just uh, get your impact, that's what I had to do, uh, now that I have an impact, and, uh, and um, 18 wrench, hold the wrench back there, um, big shouts to the mom, by the way, for helping me get an impact. Woo. Okay, so now that we have the uh, truck all jacked up, wheels off and everything, let's see what these things look like. I've actually already taken them out because my, uh, how I got them was I got them like back in October. I'm posting this in December 2019, so yikes. But. Here we go. Here's one of them. So these are Icon 2.0 aluminum series rear shocks. Um, I don't remember the price exactly. If I remember it or find it, then I'll put it somewhere up here. But I got these from uh, one of my really good friends, uh, Dalton. Uh, he's down in Florida. I'll put his Instagram right here at Alumi, Alumi Yodi. I think that's how you actually pronounce it. Uh, he also has an F-150. Uh, I met him through um, Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that. I watched one of his videos. Uh, he did like a, a essentially a straight pipe on his uh, his first F-150, his 2.7 liter F-150, just like I have. He now has a uh, 5.0, uh, 2018, I believe. Either way, uh, check out his Instagram. Be sure to give him a follow. Uh, he's got a lot of awesome uh, stuff on there. He, I mean, he's hit, like his uh, wheel inspiration or his the wheel setup he has is kind of similar to what I would like to do. Uh, but anyway, so let's get back to these. So according to uh, Stage 3 Motorsports, where uh, you can get these, I'll put the link again in the description. Um, these are uh, 6061 uh, aluminum rod ends right here. And uh, these will handle up to two inches of uh, rear lift. So if you are uh, adding up to two inches of lift on your F-150, these are the shocks that I'm going to recommend. If anyone has a truck and you don't know what Icon is, um, then after you're done with this video, uh, go and check out Icon because they make, I mean, some of the best, uh, some of the, the best, uh, suspension setups, um, for, I mean, a lot of, they're a really reputable brand. So be sure to look them up, of course. Um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get these installed. I'm going to try a few different methods, um, to save the hassle of, uh, figuring out how to install these. So, uh, you'll see that next. Quick side note, look at the, uh, stocks compared to the Icons. Oh man. All right, back to the video. Whew. After way too long of trying to figure this out on my own, uh, thanks to mom again, because it's this is a better uh, team job. So I had my mom slide the, uh, the, the bottom bolt in. So uh, just like I showed in the last clip, um, take the top bolt out of the stock one, the same size for the bottom. And then what I did was I uh, put the, uh, the icon in Slid the bolt through and just threaded it in on the other side and then muscled <laughs> this muscle and pulled this up and then uh, I just had my mom slide the uh, slide the bolt in <laughs> and uh, I was able to continue to pull on this and we got it to go in so now I'm gonna get everything tightened down I'm gonna get everything tightened down oh my gosh I'm really cold and uh, then I'm gonna drive on these for a few hundred miles and I'm gonna let you guys know exactly, you know, my impressions of these. Also, if you haven't checked out the video on these Raptor steps, do it. I, I love, I absolutely love them. And uh, don't forget these, the LED taillights. And there's another install coming on the rear end uh, soon. So check out those videos after this one. But in the meantime, here's the review. I did some driving on some of the, I don't wanna say the harshest roads around here, but uh, the neighborhood um, that my mom lives in, um, 
the entrance to that neighborhood is extremely bumpy and filled with potholes and just absolutely atrocious. As, as horrible as a suburban neighborhood road can be, it's that bad. Uh, as well as I've driven in almost downtown Indy, I've done a lot of highway driving. Um, and these shocks, they are single-handedly one of the best um, modifications I've done to the truck. Um, I don't really, I, can't, I don't know the performance mods, I guess you could say, just because these shocks, they've improved exponentially. Like the, uh, when I was talking to Dalton, uh, he previously told me uh, over, over mess, over like Instagram, <laughs> uh, Instagram DMs that, um, he said that the feel, and I wrote, I actually have ridden in his truck when I was down in Florida, um, and I didn't really notice it, but that's also because I hadn't been in a vehicle for like a week. So, uh, but he was telling me that it, installing these shocks really takes out that like tail end sway that you get when you're going over bumps. Uh, if you've had your, your truck for a while now, you, I'm sure you can notice the stock shocks when you're going over bumps or on the highway or whatever, you feel the, the tail end kind of not fishtail per se, but uh, the back end definitely sways and moves a lot on the highway. So much more than I could ever notice. And just over little bumps, in a neighborhood like this um, it really moves quite a bit and installing these shocks definitely improved that tenfold i mean these are uh i've got uh, so much so that i'm actually going to be doing some other shocks here soon uh if that gives you guys any hints but um but i um i think that does wrap up today's video guys uh, you can see the shocks right there uh they were super easy to install um uh, ultimately it's all said and done uh the you're looking at honestly if you have the right tools and everything about a 45 minute install maybe less maybe a little bit more um it took me two hours for this side and 10 minutes for the other side it's because i wasn't prepared didn't have the right tools available at the time either way uh it's fixed now um but anyway guys like i said this is the end it, this is the end of the video uh so be sure to check out my instagram for any other updates on these shocks and i'll let you know um how everything is going with that. The wind is definitely worse on this side, but I'm switching to the other side of the truck because my neighbors are home, so I don't want them to watch me. Uh, be sure to give it a like. Uh, if you like, if you enjoyed the video, give it a dislike if you did not. Be, um, and also check out my uh, Instagram and let me know um, if you guys are gonna purchase these shocks. And um, I can see my face turning pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. Uh, you guys take care and have a great day.